We got the play 2K. K. Brutal Sim, step back, J. J. Kobe got that clutch, throw it up. That's game. I'm going through the lane, Russell West. Wood up, wood up. It's your boy. You don't know brutal sim on the scene wicked than me with a next video for y'all man so y'all actually saw me uploading my third player that got over 91 overall in this game right and a lot of people was asking me brute man what's the quickest way to rep up man and i already did a few videos showing y'all how to get the most rep with probably each position um i know i did it with my point guard early up then i did it with the centers then I did a few with the forwards man but this is gonna be the last video you're probably gonna have to watch in terms of getting the most of your playing time right because y'all know I got a full-time job and I still got three players with a 91 overall man and I'm probably gonna give you all a few heads up on how to make the most in, in terms of making rep in this game so let's get straight to it man right now the first thing first man um remember in the beginning when the game just dropped the best way to Rep up fast or to switch game modes and stuff like that. Not so much anymore, to be quite honest. The first thing first, all you need to do is play a lot of my career. To forget about the park, forget about the pro -am. If you really, if your goal is really about repping up and only repping up, play that my career. Now the next thing is, you got to start spamming the moves that gives you the most points, right? Now, it's very hard to spam um, take charges because I think take charges actually makes a thousand points for you, man. This, yeah, it, it's not that easy, but you could, have, you could actually pull up like three take charge um, charge situations again, to be quite honest, um, if you look for when people are taking screens. And of course, I put up the tutorial in the tutorial section how to take charges in this game, but that's not really the main thing that drives you to make the most rep either. What I look at, is those acrobat layups man the acrobat layups definitely racks up the most points out of everything in terms of it being very easy and you could just pull off a lot of it and it's gonna get you the most points uh, in general right and of course that wouldn't be the only thing but that would be the main thing for you to focus on when grinding my career now on fast breaks what I started doing right the problem with my dude is I'm still going for badges. If you're not that much interested or focused in badges, then you could focus on wrapping up. So, right now I'm actually trying to get, let me show you all real quick. Hall of Fame, one man fast break, right? So now, every opportunity I get on a fast break, I gotta try to score. But if you're wrapping up and you don't really care about this badge that much, all you gotta do is slow it down every time. Every time slow it down half court, and attempt an acrobat layup, right? Which is the reverse, the euro step or the chain shot, right? Like the double shot in the layups, right? Now what I do, what I recommend is this. If you're a big, go in the post position, right? Post position, then pull off a post pin move and finish it off with a reverse layup or a, um, what do you call that? A euro step, right? But, I think the best thing for post players is the reverse because the euro step is a little iffy sometimes, especially if it's too crowded. Um, and the next thing you gotta remember, the putbacks. Make sure, assume everything is missing and get the rebound and try to put it back up, man. That's for the post players. That's all you gotta do right there. That's all you gotta do to rack up over average like over 40k each game. Sometimes you're gonna get over 50k each game, right? Once you just utilize this method, just keep spamming. You gotta forget about playing real basketball and think about the points. Focus about the rep. That's it, that's it. Now for the forwards and guards, right? Sometimes you could do the post spin move. A lot of people like to do that post spin move, but sometimes it's a little difficult. Now you could go for a screen, they're gonna jump the screen and it's gonna give you that open, that easy post spin move. Or sometimes you could fake one side and do the post spin move. It's, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. But what I found out, you don't necessarily need to use the post spin move either. Because it's all about getting the most um, acrobat finishing in, finishes in, right? So, all I like to do is do a nice size up. Face him, do a nice size up by tapping the right stick up. Now after he's doing that animation right there, all you gotta do is shoot for the baseline. 
you are gonna he's gonna give you the baseline and you're gonna have him on your hip and then you do the reverse layup now if you don't know how to do the reverse layup by now man i always tell you all to change the pro stick orientation in the controller settings to absolute now that way if you go to the right and then you're on the right side on the baseline driving all you gotta do is push the right stick to the right if you're going to the left side you gotta push the left the right stick to the left it's that simple to do a reverse layup now to pull off a euro step instead while you're driving on the baseline all you gotta do is push the right stick if you're on the right side push the right stick and the ball is on your right hand right push the right stick to the opposite hand which will be on the left side now if you're driving on the left side and the ball is on your left hand you gotta push the right stick to the right and you're gonna pull off a euro step a euro step right both of these will count towards you getting acrobat layups remember what i said the goal is to get as much acrobat layups as you can get now you you should for somewhere around 30 around 30 plus acrobat layups again now if you could successfully pull this off i bet y'all i bet y'all y'all be averaging over 40k rep each game with any player in the game by these tactics i just recommended right now that's how i wrap up real fast man that's that's it it's not that complicated that's it i just keep playing a lot of my career right that's why y'all know it's when i'm really grinding players i stay offline because um all the rest of the stuff don't give me enough rep it's not really worth it and it damn sure ain't giving me enough bc either right to be quite honest so i rather stay grind out that marker get my player up that's why i say this year 2k gave so much life to my career and they probably didn't even know it right now as far as the vc now it's impossible by my estimation not impossible it takes way too long to grind from zero from 60 to a 90 something without buying vc to be quite honest right because i always buy vc for my earth for my first player I bought one for my first player on the PS4 and I bought one for my first player on the Xbox One. Now after I buy that first player up to an 85, I'm not buying any more VC throughout the game. I, I just don't because while I'm grinding, I'm saving VC. I'm not spending on useless stuff. I'm buying one dribble move. I'm looking for the best dribble move that the community is saying works that I'm going to try it out. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. I don't spend a bunch on animations. Now this player, I spent a bunch. You see, I got him to a nice one, but I got so much stuff unlocked. I got 92 um, K right now, right? But I spent so much BC on tags and animations and like a bunch of a bunch of stuff that cost so much money. I spent VC on that I wouldn't usually spend. That's because I'm not really planning on creating the next player right now. All right, I'm plan I'm playing with these players probably until the year turn around then afterwards i could think about doing something else right so that's why i got only 92k and that's i bought vc the first time to start off which of course um that's gonna be like 50 bucks or something like that it's gonna be for the vc to get the player to 85 then after that you grind him out you are gonna make back just as much vc by the time you get to like a 90 let's say a 91 91 92 area around there once you grind out and focusing on that player you are gonna have enough to start a new player right to be quite honest actually i had way more than enough to start a new player but and that's still with me spending money so that's all you gotta do restrict yourself in terms of spending unnecessary money on these animations and everything else that they, they ask you to spend money on boosts and stuff you don't need to spend none of that none of it right just use what you the the um bare minimum and then keep grinding your players and one more side note man um endorsements endorsements what i did for my endorsements was i hold out for every endorsements i negotiated to get more money right keep negotiation negotiating my bad to get more money as well that would actually bring up your earnings um whenever you play a few games in the program you're gonna get a buzz from brian telling you come for money you know what i'm saying so um that's all you gotta do hold out negotiate a few times probably once probably negotiate like once or twice right with these companies and get some extra vc that will contribute to you 
not buying DC at all, man. I ain't gonna front. They made it impossible. Last year, I could have grinded my player from 0 to 100 without buying BC. The year before, the same. It was a lot easier, actually. So each year, it tends to get more difficult. Of course, they're trying to make everything microtransaction in here, pay to win. We already know the direction it's going. And I already did so many videos, so I'm not gonna continue, man. But this, these are the tips I got for y'all for grinding y'all players, man. Remember, Acrobat layup is king. Try to get as much as possible, okay? With any, any position could do it. It doesn't matter what your build, you could pull off some Euro steps or some chain shots while attacking the basket and you are gonna score, right? You are most definitely gonna score in this game. And you don't have to score all, you just gotta pull out like, let's say 30 a game, 30. 30, man, all for over 100 and something you're scoring, like, I don't care about playing with basketball in my career no more. It's for me, it's all about that goal of grinding. You gotta have that mentality, man. That's how I wrap up so fast, man. Right, so you already know your boy Sim. Let me know if this video helped you all out. If you're first time to my channel, make sure and like the video, share the video, and hit your bell subscribe. If it's not your first time, like the video, share the video. You never know who's gonna help, man. Your boy Sim, one love, respect. Bless up.